We are not the tra traditional, right? Um, traditional married couple. You know, we live on a completely different planet. To tell you the <laughs> truth. Breastfeeding after the proper age, which I guess is what, two and beyond these days? What do you think? I never understood that. You wanna know something? Chanel still likes my boob. She's five years old. Well, I saw that picture on the flight. She was loving uh, yep. sleeping on your chest. It's a big bonding moment for your mother and your child. Right. And I, a lot of people are like, oh, you're not getting the nutrition after two years old. Why do it? And I'm like, my child's easy in eating steak and hamburgers. She just likes a little snack every now and then and more of the bonding between the mother. Why take that away from her? Yeah. I've got into the subject many, many times since now that I have a daughter. Europeans, they, they stop around seven years old. You know, like they kind of go when the child doesn't feel the need to do it anymore. And right, that's naturally. how I feel. If yeah. Chanel doesn't want it, all right, then that's where you stopped it. But I'm not going to just say no boob, you know? Right. At night, she kind of cuddles with my boob. She calls it the boo boo. She cuddles <laughs> with the boo boo. And she loves on it. And it's not like she's getting a meal from it, but she's getting her little snack and it's kind of soothing her to sleep. That's so I, I don't. I think all women do the, something differently, you know, when it comes to their child, but I don't want to deprive the boob from her. You know what? What? You makes me sleep. It does? See? That's good. Sleep. And you like the boo boo, huh? Yes. I don't want to deprive her of something she wants just because society says you need to stop after two. Like, this is my child. If I was like a, a part of a tribe in the middle of nowhere, do I say, you know, in the middle of the jungle? No, because you're two years old. You can't, right. I mean, there's no, there's no stopping at a certain specific time. And I, I've kind of had numerous um, kind of arguments on Instagram yeah. about this because I have a lot of moms that follow me, but it really has, is bonded my daughter and I. And I don't want to take that away. It's just, I have one child and one child only, and I'm going to do the damn thing when it comes to her. All right, how about this? Let your five-year-old sleep in your bed. Um, yes, she sleeps with us. And um, I think that's another thing. Whenever she's feeling like she can do it on her own, she has her own room, she has her own bed. She uh -huh. takes naps in her own room. But, you know, like I and I, we have a different way of thinking. We, we call our, bat, our bed the family bed. We have Chanel and all four dogs. Oh, yes. And if we feel comfortable with that, we feel comfortable with that. I mean, we just have to, we have to set aside certain days. You know, we can't be really spontaneous anymore like we used to, but we, we assign certain days where we have a free bed let's right. just say, for our alone times. Right, but um, we we like the tribe feel. Yeah. Does that, does that sound weird? Like we, we like I our feel family like, time. Yeah, there are more families out there like you guys that I think people realize. Like people mm -hmm. are sort of not listening to society anymore and they're doing their own thing. Yeah. Whatever works for e each family, you know? Yeah, and also like this is this works for us and it makes us happy and again we only have one child and you know we we like the feeling of the cuddleness and you know yeah. watching tv at night and bringing it together because our lives are so sporadic during the day we're not the normal couple we're like always on the go so at night bringing it in with our family that's our alone time without the world we're like in our little bubble you know and you know, Chanel, like I said, she has her own room. She can go in there whenever she wants and she takes her little naps, but um, we just like our own time with our family. Definitely. Call our little big family. Let Chanel stay up past midnight. Okay, so that's gonna change this year, but um, we don't mind it because we're not the typical couple. You know, um, we're more of a, you know, the night entertainment world we right live in that entertainment so people have to understand we have different times than right. the more you know i sometimes works until two o'clock in the morning you know he also when he's on tour 
he's he's actually doing a show at 12 o'clock at night so we're not going to bed at two o'clock so we kind of right. transfer it a different way you know chanel she gets up at 11 o'clock in the afternoon but we also stay up later of right. course that's going to change this year because she has she's going to start school yeah but um i always something. want to go to school oh you're gonna have so much fun at school she's so excited about school when do you start chanel in one month right that's one gonna month. be so fun i'm excited she's very excited i'm so excited yes. for you so things are going to change of course she's not going to be able to stay up late but up until five years old we've kind of let her do what she wants uh -huh. um because of the way we live right and i don't think people should compare like my life to theirs They're right because or to anybody's for that matter but Ice and I, we live differently. I don't know I, uh, why people don't understand that. We are not the tra traditional, right? Um, traditional married couple. You know, we live on a completely different planet. To tell you the it, truth, we right. don't have the regular life. So therefore, my child is not regular. Right. I'm going to try to get her as much regular as possible when it comes to school. Uh -huh. <laughs> but even that will be a little bit different for us, you know? Yeah. Let Chanel or any uh, child under the age of 13 watch a PG-13 movie. God, people are gonna hate me with all of these. <laughs> They're gonna be like, whoa, Coco and I, they do a lot of things we don't do with Chanel. Chanel's first horror movie at 18 months. What, what was your first horror movie? And this was definitely not PG, right? What was it? Do you remember? P probably it. 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 Wasn't it scary? Yeah. I haven't watched the old one. The original It. It was the, the new one. It. Yeah. Yes. But she, we kind of explained to her that is acting. Yeah. Her dad's an actor. So right, she it's sees. Pretend. It's pretend. That's why I sleep in mommy's room. <laughs> so she takes care of you when you get scared, right? That's right. So she, so the thing is she loves horror films and we taught her that, she actually calls horror films man movies. You know why it's man movies? Because behind the mask is a man. Oh, right. So she knows all of them, there are, there are people behind there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's things, of course, when it comes to uh, sexual encounters, like right. that's something I won't really show her. You know, well, she knows to close her eyes, like naturally. She knows when there's something that she can't see and she like turns her head and close her eyes. She's right. really good with that. It's no. But as far as like horror or anything, um, that's, that's kind of like I'll pretend daddy, her own daddy pretends all the time. Does she watch dad's stuff like Law and Order and all of his oh, other yeah. stuff? Yeah. Yeah, she she watches um that all the time. She's she's really big fan of daddy, of course. Okay. So she um you know, we've seen all daddy's movies, Law and Order. She I mean, she knows Marishka and Kelly in real life, you know, oh, from right. Law and Order, all the characters. So, you know, she knows that they play. That's playing to her. For right, them to right. be on TV playing something different, that's playing. Like, that's how, she, I think she's really good at it too because she grew up in that life. Of she course. knows how to act herself. So when you grow up into a family that, you know, we're kind of a part of. Yeah. Like she is. She's part of a family that's full of entertainment. You're gonna have the big personality child. Right. And that's what Chanel is. She has a lot of personality and, you know, but I can't get away from that because she's a part of that world. Of course. But right. as far as to go back to that, I I feel like it's kind of like a toss up. You know, I let her watch a lot of stuff normal kids wouldn't. But once again, I explained to her, you know, she, the horror thing, yes. But um, sexual things, no. Right. That's, of course, that gets up there. But yeah. she kind of knows when, when that is. 